Experiment 21-1. Engine known as Thomas has been acquired. Beaten up a bit after being derailed by Harold and Herbert, known as Ari and Burke to the locals, the ironworks engine. Left on siding outside the main building. Experiment 21-2. Engine has been injected with a dosage of... Engine has complained about nausea and a pain internally. We put the engine asleep and will be doing some further research. Experiment 21-3. Researchers have tasked Harold and Herbert to block engines from entering. Engine has started to show signs of awakening. Test on nearby flatbed proved successful after engine knocked it over on its side in about one swift movement. Engine has been given amnesthetics after terminating the test. Experiment 21-4. The that we have injected inside the engine seems to have now started to take over him since his eyes have now changed colour. Tendrils have grown inside his mouth, which can come out of said mouth, and the engine has also grown spider-like legs, which can hold the engine off the ground. We're really making major progress now. Experiment 21-5. Face is now removable, exposing the mouth and teeth. However, the engine can grow a new face whenever it wants. Ooh, man, it's getting hungry. Martin's gone missing. Blood dripping from the engine's mouth pretty much answered our question. Experiment 21-6. We lured the ironworks engines in and got them ready for the test. They were horrified. One tried running into it and the other reversed. One trying to escape derailed and was torn in half. Oil was dripping everywhere, and there was a fire. Engine went after the second one and compressed the front half, killing it instantly. Test was successful. Scrap will be sold later. Experiment 21-7. Diesel 10 was prepped for combat test, which will be our final test before the experiment is declared a success. D-10 was brought in, and combat commenced. D-10 held up a decent fight, calling the engine multiple names, such as Creature, Beast, and Monster. However, the engine eventually gained the upper hand by ripping off the hydraulic claw on the roof and tearing off a buffer. Diesel 10 was powerless and begged for mercy, apologizing to steam engines in general. However, the engine just took the thin end of the claw and jammed it into the middle of D-10's face. We've decided to call it the Beast. Experiment 21-8. Engine number 4 arrived at night and was Beast after backing it into the buffers. 